This is David Fanola, Senior Director of Engineering at the Concrete Reinforcing Steel Institute, and I would like to present a brief overview of our new publication titled, Design Guide on the ACI 318 Building Code Requirements for Structural Concrete. This publication is based on the provisions of the 2019 edition of ACI 318. The main goal of this publication is to provide step-by-step -step design procedures and design aids that make designing and detailing reinforced concrete buildings simpler and faster. Shown here are the chapters in the design guide, which follow the chapters in ACI 318. This design guide covers cast-in-place concrete buildings with non-pre-stressed reinforcement. Numerous details and design aids are provided, and over 140 worked out examples illustrate the proper application of the code requirements. A section index is given in Appendix C, which can be used to quickly locate information in this design guide on a specific code provision. For example, information on section 8712 in the code can be found in the two-way slab chapter on page 5-51 of the design guide. Design and detailing summaries are provided throughout the design guide, which give a synopsis of the code requirements in one convenient location. This eliminates the need to perform a lengthy search in the code for the applicable requirements. The nominal two-way shear strength requirements for two-way slabs without and with shear reinforcement are shown on this slide. Shear strength requirements for beams are summarized in this figure. And the detailing requirements for special boundary elements in special structural walls are shown here. Design procedures are given at the end of the chapter in the form of flowcharts, which can give step-by-step -step methods on how to design and detail the structural members. These flows charts ensure all design and detailing requirements are properly addressed. Numerous design aids are given that can be used to expedite the overall design process. Shown here are section properties of polygon-shaped critical sections, which are applicable to two-way slabs with stirrups or headed shear stud reinforcement. Similar tables are given for rectangular and circular columns. Design methods not commonly found in other references are included in this design guide. For example, a general method to determine critical section properties for two-way shear design is included in the two-way slabs chapter. Shown here is an example for a square column with an adjacent slab opening. The titles for the examples are purposely very descriptive so users can quickly locate what they are specifically looking for in the table of contents. The examples are based on four buildings ranging in height from five to 30 stories. The 30 story office building is shown here. This building is assigned to seismic design category D and has dual systems with special structural walls and special moment frames in both directions. The examples throughout the design guide are presented in a step-by-step -step approach and follow the steps in the design procedures mentioned previously. Figure, table, and equation numbers from the code and design guide are given in the right-hand margin of the examples for easy reference. CRSI is offering a 20% discount on this design guide for a limited time only in the CRSI 
web store. Please use the discount code at checkout to claim this special offer. For more information on this design guide and many of the other resources available from CRSI, please visit ReBARU, which can be accessed using the web address shown here. Thank you for your interest in CRSI resources.